Hey y'all, I'm Rick Allen, host of Rick's House Television Show and also Rick's House Radio Show, and I'm really excited about being here at one of my favorite places. We're here today as long as some other places, but we are here at Finn's Island Style Grub in beautiful St. Andrews, part of Little Village. So we're gonna get you inside, we're gonna show you some great crafts, some things you can take home, a place to come get a great lunch, and by the way, we're gonna give you and show you some of the finest food in Panama City. You know if I say it's good, it's good. It makes a fat boy happy. So thanks for watching us on Rick's house. Come on in the house and join us. We're gonna talk food and home improvement. Oh well, it's Rick's house. If you got a question, he'll help you figure it out. Cause it's Rick's house. Hey everybody, it's Rick Allen. I'm at one of my favorite places with one of my best friends in the whole world, Justin. And we're here at this new location, my brother of Finn's, and we're so excited for the expansion. But now you've moved into town. You know, we've loved the beach location for a long time. It's where a fat boy gets happy. Tell me <laughs> about this location. Tell me what we got going on here. Well, as you can see, it's, uh, it's right on the water in, uh, in St. Andrews, historic St. Andrews. And uh, it's just great. It fits our uh, menu, just the way we, we live. This laid back, you know, beach style. We just moved over in town to uh, accommodate everyone in town. There's a problem with people want, really, wanting to get across the bridge on the beach and people that live on the beach want to get across in, in town. So we just, uh, you know, we decided to expand a little bit and keep it still, keep it small, simple, fresh. and. Uh, and so far, so good. It's going great. Oh, it's fantastic. And I'm going to tell you something. There's a great location here because you're right next to the little village. Mm -hmm. We're going to take some shots of that today and let you know there's some, my wife goes crazy when she comes over here. So some really cool things. Now those are duty free. What, what's it called when, when, when the, the type of products that they have? Duty free, like fair trade. Fair like, trade, uh, absolutely. Everything made from around the world, uh, handmade. It goes directly back to the people who made it. It's not, uh, it's not like the big factories you know, where they uh, mass production, everything's actually handmade and it goes back directly to the people who made it. So it's real neat. That's awesome. And so, and really the craftsmanship that you're going to see today on some of those products is phenomenal. Now, not only that, we're going to get in the kitchen with Justin and watch what he does a little bit. We can't show the secrets, but I promise you, if you've never eaten, ate a French, uh, a shrimp taco from right here at Finn's, I promise you there is no better. And he's got this massive quesadilla plus this big breakfast burrito. And you got some new items on the menu here, like you're doing chili and some other things. Yeah. Well, through the winter we do, of course, do soups. You know, it's been you know up and down winter. The weather's been a little wild, but um, we have carnita tacos, uh, slow cooked pulled pork, ah. and they're great. Um, we also added some vegetarian tacos, um, and we brought back. Uh, we kind of upped our smoothie menu a little bit. We have a brand new kids menu, so we've done some new things. That's awesome. I think he's going to cost me an extra 15 minutes on the step box. Is what he's saying, but. Don't go anywhere, we got a lot to show you. We hadn't even talked to you yet about, uh, and let's go ahead and do that now. You've got about once a month, you're doing the music thing, you've got bands coming in. Tell us how that works. Uh, it's like a concert series, once a month. You can go to, uh, you can like us on Facebook, Finn's Island Style Grub, or you can like Little Village on Facebook and get all the info as far as the, uh, the concerts coming up or what we're doing, you know, week to week. Sometimes on Saturdays we have music out here, um, daily specials, stuff like that. Um, our new address out here is 2808 West 12th Street. It's right behind Hunt's, um, yeah. down in Saint, right off of Beck. Uh, so our beach location, of course, is right next to Mr. Surf's on Thomas Drive, 7220. Look for the big pole barn and the white trailer, and that's us, Fins. Yeah. Good food and good times and good music. That's what you'll find right here. Listen, y'all come check them out. Now, we're going to zip over and uh, be back in just a little bit. We're going to check out the little village, and we're going to get in the kitchen with Justin and see how they do it here at Fins. We'll be back to Finn's in Little Village in just a minute, but now we're over to our friends at Lowe's in aisle 16 here. And you know, as I walk through the fashioner aisle, we've gave you tips in the past about what you can do, but have you ever wondered what these drawers are? For the longest time, I never knew what these drawers were underneath all the nuts and bolts and screws and washers. If you're looking for something specialty, maybe it's a part off a piece of furniture that you're trying to assemble, or a part that come off a kid's toy, or a part that come off of something odd, chances are if it's made and they have it, you'll find it in here. Whether it's a specialty washer, which these are big, Look at this big neoprene washers that you can use when you need to have a little bit of stability, but it needs to be soft so, that, so it doesn't scar. Or whether it's a fittings for, I uh, can't even see that one, but whether it's fittings for copper plant, you know, a copper bushing to go in to adjust the size. I mean, everything odd that you'll find in the fastening department will be in these fasteners. You can ask somebody at Lowe's to help you with that. Now, 
the reason I stopped here was is I've always keeping washers in my toolbox. It's something that I learned a long time ago that with a washer you can make things right, but there's one washer in particular that I like to keep in my toolbox to make sure I'm getting done, getting it done right. Here's what we call a fender washer. And this is a whole case of these things for 658. And you can see they're 3 16 by inch and a quarter. And, uh, and, and let, me, let me just show you a little bit about how this works. The hole is just small enough for the screw that goes inside of it or the bolt that goes inside of it. But the fender washer itself is an inch and quarter in diameter overall. This is so handy when you're trying to tighten something up and you need to spread the, the load of it on top of the plate that you're working on to keep from denting it or scarring it or just getting it more sec secure or stable, especially if you're trying to cover a larger hole with a smaller screw. It's a great thing, we call them fender washers. I keep them in my toolbox. I can't tell you the times that I use them. You'll find those in Lowe's at aisle 16, and I'm sure you'll find a use for them. You know, I grew up in a house as an electrician's son, and I figured out right fast that I didn't want to do electricity for a living. Why? Because it takes a professional. Let me tell you about the professionals at Keith and Sons Electric. Great friends of the Rick's House program, they are the electrical contractor that we like to recommend. Who's With over 15 years of experience, they've built their company servicing the residential community and doing the commercial stuff. Solar systems, new construction, remodeling, bucket truck service, pools, spas, jacuzzis, wiring, electrical generator installations, panel upgrades, gas station wiring, and more. Whether it's troubleshooting or repair, we want you to call the team at Keith & Sons Electric, 763-6599. That's 850-763-6599 or find them online at rickshouseradioshow.com. Go to game. Keith & Sons Electric, we make the impossible doable. Keith and Sons Electric, getting the job done from bucket trucks to small residential. Professional electric services done the way they should be. Keith and Sons Electric Company, a Rick's House favorite. Hi, I'm Dave Williams with Mid-South Lumber Install Pros. Do you have windows and doors that don't operate correctly? Is the glass fog? Can you feel cold air coming in? Let the Install Pros at Mid-South Lumber replace those old windows and doors for you. Go from this to this, from this to this, and from this to this. Improve the looks of your home while increasing your home's value and lowering your power bills. Call me personally, Dave Williams at Mid-South Lumber Install Pros, 215-5185. That's 215-5185. Hello, I'm Dr. Cohen. If you're suffering with back pain, neck pain, headaches, leg or arm pain, or if you're just sick and tired of being sick and tired, please listen carefully. Cairo Network Healthcare Centers. At Cairo Network, we offer two free x-rays. Those x-rays allow us to locate and evaluate your problem and determine whether chiropractic care is appropriate for you. So why not find out today whether chiropractic care can be the answers to your health problems? Give us a call. You know, Jeff and I was walking through Lowe's and we're always looking for tools or hints or things we can help you with. Things to help you not let do-it-yourself become do-it-to-yourself. And when we do that, you know, every once in a while we run across something that's really cool. Matter of fact, this was Jeff's idea, so I'm going to give him the credit for it. You remember the Pinewood Derby? We did it with our sons, and, and my boys did it twice in and, 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 and different applications. Even in Maintenance Mania that we have where they compete, one of the things that the competition for Maintenance Mania for maintenance people is they have to create a Pinewood Derby car or race car from the materials that they use and race it at the end. But here's a great idea from Dremel Tools. Now, I've had a Dremel tool for a long time. Many of you use your Dremel to clean up things, do wood carving and so forth. But here at Lowe's, they've got the Pinewood Derby cleanup kit. They've got the axles and the tires, and they've even got the cool stickers, just like in NASCAR, that you can put on them, and all you've got to do is furnish the wood. There's a step-by-step -step guide here at their Pinewood Derby book, and if you can see what I'm talking about, you start with the wood block. It has different designs to show you how that you can finish them out, and in the end, even inside, as we flip through, tells you what tools you need, which is a Dremel tool and some other things just for, just for purposes of making it happen. They tell you step by step, but look, they've even got patterns that you can 
cut out and put on the wood block so you can take that Dremel tool and you can step by step build that Pinewood Derby car. And hey, even if you don't have an event, it'd be a good race between dad and the brothers to make sure it happens. So be sure and stop by Lowe's and pick that up and make a holiday time with your family when you can spend some time with those boys and girls. Who knows, it might be the girl in the family that's the winning racer, you never can tell. More coming back to you in just a few minutes. Okay, so now we're on the other side of Fins and we're here at the village, the Little Village. Little Village, Little yes, Village, yes. I, I want to put a V on it. You know, it's the <laughs> Facebook, the Walmarts, the, no, it's Little Village, and so we're excited about being here. But my buddy Justin's here. We're getting ready to go in the kitchen and do some cooking, but Miss Beth's come out, and you're going to tell us a little bit about what all is here. I love this place. I could just drop my wife off here with money and come back in hours, <laughs> and she idea. would be so, so excited. <laughs> Wow, how did this come about? Well, the owner of this place is a, a very creative lady named Sandy Wolf. Wow. And uh, she had a vision that she wanted to do something here in St. Andrews and found this beautiful house on Lake Ware, and this is what it's turned into. We've got handmade things from all around the world, literally. It's, it's just amazing as you look at the cabins behind us, and each one has little huts, each one has its own, its own things inside of there. And of course, all the yard art and just so many unique treasures, whether it's a piece of handcrafted furniture, or I love the planters. We'll have to get a shot of those in a minute, Jeff, because uh, I don't know who came up with that idea, but that's fantastic. Well, Sandy had a great vision for this place. She definitely wanted to do something that you're not going to find in every store that you walk into. Um, we've got indoor and outdoor yard, uh, yard art, and yeah. um, like I said, we've got artists that are right down the street here wow. in St. Andrews, and we've got stuff from Haiti and South Africa, and it's all it's fair awesome. trade and eco-friendly. Now, one of the things that, I, that, that Justin had told me about, and of course, Every time I get to come by here, I get a chance to do that because it's always a good time to eat at Fins. <laughs> but the rugs that you have that are made to go indoor, outdoor, yes. um, tell me about tell me about those. Those are the Mad Mats. They're um, indoor and outdoor, and they're reversible, and they're made from recycled plastic. They're made from uh, milk jugs and plastic water bottles and things like that, and they are one of the most durable products that you can wow. buy. Wow. I mean, and they're really cool looking. I know, Justin, as you as you were, you know, th with the restaurant on the beach, you know, it's already themed this way, so I guess you're in heaven. I mean, you know, you're just right in the middle of everything that, that, that speaks about fins. You got it. It's hard to leave. Once you get here, I mean, I never feel like working. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> I, fortunately, I'm here to work, so, I, you know, I turn to, but, uh, but no, it's, it's, it's so quiet. It's, this is a blessing, you know. This is great. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a wonderful atmosphere. We want everybody to come out and visit. Uh, little Village and also be sure while you're here it's a great afternoon trip to get lunch get that evening supper and, and visit you guys what are your hours Beth? Um, right now this time of year we're doing 10 to 5 Tuesday okay. through Saturday but we will extend that when the weather's con consistently a little bit better but we'll okay. have all that posted on our Facebook page which is Little Village PC. Okay so check them out at Little Village PC we're going to talk our buddy into Justin into letting us in the kitchen so we can see what happens in there. You know, home improvement encompasses a lot of things, and if your belly's not full, you're not <laughs> going to do the project right. So when we get back, uh, we're going to jump over there and see what we can find out. Thank you, Miss Beth. Thank you. And uh, you guys come check them out at Little Village. All right, I got so excited talking about the Pinewood Derby cars and getting that Dremel tool out and taking that square block of wood and making it happen. That's what we like to do. But as I was walking, out the store to see some other things. I found out that, you know what, I got to thinking, well, you know, wow, maybe those little, little guys wouldn't appreciate that or they'd get bored with that. So you know what, Lowe's has got the solution to that too. They've got a monster truck almost pre-done for you. It's almost ready to go. And hey, you still have the fun of putting it together and painting it up and then racing it in the same day. Not to mention, they also have a race car Ready for those little guys who want to do that? Get out there. What a great project for you and your family. Something to do over the Easter weekend, maybe. So come out Lowe's, check them out, and get those trucks and cars racing. Rick's Wardrobe provided by NeckLife. To get your NeckLife gear, go to rickshouseradioshow.com. When you sit down with an accountant to plan for your financial future, trust counts. And when you choose a doctor to care for your loved ones, trust counts. And when you choose a roofing contractor to protect you from the storms, trust counts. Tadlock Roofing, when trust counts. Proud to be North Florida's only Owens Corning Platinum Preferred Contractor. To learn more, go to wintrustcounts.com. Wintrustcounts.com. 
Hey, y'all, being from the country, I've learned one thing for sure. Your equipment can be the difference in a good year or a bad one. That's why I choose Beard Equipment. Quality products like John Deere and Steel, chainsaws, tractors, lawnmowers, you name it, they've got it. Parts, service, and a team you can count on. Call them today, 850-769-4844. That's 850-769-4844. Remember, Beard Equipment, a team you can count on. 4625 Highway 231, Panama City, or online at Beard Equipment. You know, one of the good things that came out of the bad hurricanes in New Orleans was our friend Trudy and Jan came to Panama City, and guess what? They brought that Cajun place with them. Fantastic meals, Friday afternoon crawfish broils, and the great Cajun food. Good lunch specials, so let's go on in and see what they're cooking today. Hi, I'm Trudy White, owner and chef at That Cajun Place. Originally from home, Louisiana, I bring authentic Cajun cooking to Panama City Beach. We offer a variety of full boy sandwiches, all served on authentic French bread from New Orleans. Menu includes things like the Big Easy, the Houdat, Bayou Club, and the Nolans. Also try a bowl of our award-winning chicken and andouille sausage gumbo with a half a po' boy for only $7.50. Every Friday night we have a Cajun seafood boil featuring whatever seafood is in season. Right now we're doing shrimp and blue crabs, including corn, potatoes, and mushrooms, and whatever else we can throw in the pot. All down the It's like having New Orleans right here in Panama City. It's delicious. It's about being back home. It's great. And we're from Louisiana, and it is up to the park. Up to the park? Up to the park. Come join us at that Cajun place located at 8019 Thomas Drive, right next door to Salt Lake Tavern, where you can come and enjoy authentic Cajun cooking right on the beach. We're open from 11 to 9 Monday through Saturday and closed on Sunday. Go Saints. All right, so we've made it past the armed guards. We've made it to the actual kitchen door. Here's where the fantastic stuff happens at Finn's Island Style Grub. And we are on the St. Andrews location today. Let's sneak on in the kitchen and see what Justin's making today. All right, so we've made it back to the kitchen and we, and we got past the armed guards to see where it actually happens. And it <laughs> smells so good in here, dude. I'm, do you know how much you're going to get me off my diet? Although, I could eat on my diet here because everything here is all natural and yeah. ready to go. Yeah. So tell us what you got going on, man. It looks uh, right fantastic. Right now, I got a, we got a quesadilla. The chicken's going to be going in the quesadilla with some peppers, onions. I'm going to add some cilantro and tomato, maybe some jalapeno. That's going to be for me. I got some fish tacos going right here. That's going to be um, for Jeff. For Jeff. And then we have a carnita. This is the pulled pork oh. over here, and that's going to go in a burrito. I didn't oh, even, my goodness. Um, how hot is that? It's 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 a good you know close to probably 400 degree grill. It's it's wow. pretty hot you know and we, we gotta you know get, people are on a strict time limit when they come for lunch and so we gotta get it, go ahead and pump it out for them and uh, just you know just get it done. So I'm gonna get a little cheese right behind right. you and put on this quesadilla. Here, that's just a little cheese. Our secret white sauce here. We put that on everything. Put a little white Absolutely. sauce on there. I'm gonna add a little cilantro, tomato. And how about some jalapeno? This is for the quesadilla. I'm gonna chop up this chicken right here. Wow, look how that comes, it just comes apart. Oh, it's tender. Oh, wow. We slow cook it. And then cool it down so it's ready. So we can just chop it up. I'm gonna add these peppers and onions here. Then add a little lemon juice. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. So it kinda makes everything come together. Flavors really unite with each other. Oh wow! Down Look at there. that. That, that sucker is ready to fold. Wow! Close right there. Look at that. And that cheese will, that gravity will take that cheese down in between all everything else. We got the fish here. I'm gonna kind of break the fish up just a tad. See, it's still a little raw. And that's blackened, right? This is blackened. Right. Squeeze a little lemon on there. Flip it, kind of give it like a steam, kind of a steam. And so this is our carnitas this right here. This is the carnitas, the full yeah. pork. It's just down here. It's a little, it's a little cooler part of the grill. Lemon on it. Oh man. All right. All right. I'm step back. I'm gonna cut this uh, quesadilla in half. Scoot it over to the side before it's ready to plate. Fish tacos are almost there. We don't want to overcook them. All right. Now let me step over here. This is going to be the tacos. 
Here's gonna be, this is gonna be for the quesadilla. So ceviche. you got everything ready at the prep tray, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me grab a, yeah. let me get, get right some here. Beans. Get some rice. And with a burrito, I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna go ahead and do black beans. Oh yeah. On this burrito. Okay. All right. Black beans, slow cooking on the crock pot. Look at that. Wow. All right. See here, all right. Now we have a red sauce we put on. Okay. And of course our white sauce. It goes on everything. That's the, the extra sauce. secret, extra That's special, the... extra spicy, delicioso white sauce. It's a good yogurt sauce. It's real healthy. Compared to sour cream, it's a lot healthier. Low fat yogurt. And grab this carnita. Look at that. Over with this. Wow. Right there. Oh my gosh. All right, squeeze a lime. And that meat. Mm. Then we're gonna roll it up. Put it to bed. Unbelievable. Right. So there's that. a burrito. The quesadilla, ready to come off. Just put that in like there. And the fish tacos should be just about ready. They look great. So put the taco meat. And this is what we're, this is what we got famous on, our fish Absolutely. tacos. Uh, it's fresh mahi mahi. Um, it's, a, it's the hot fish, and we top it with a little shredded cabbage. Pico de gallo. And all this you make right here, the pico de gallo, the we whole make everything. It's all made we make in house. five gallons a day on, a, on an average day. We, you know, come summer, we'll be making 10 gallons a day. Absolutely. A little cheese, not too much, it's a little bit of everything, you know? Yeah. White sauce, red sauce. Oh, yeah. A little cilantro. Kind of a little garnish. And there's our fish tacos. Fantastic. Last Damn. thing is our shrimp ceviche, which is Amy's favorite, correct? It is. It's the chief woman in charge's favorite. All right. Well, I have the shrimp in here with a little black pepper. Okay. The ceviche, is already, the shrimp's already cooked in the, in the marinade. So add a little uh, pico de gallo, a little cilantro. A little cilantro in there. And our coconut lime vinaigrette. Oh, yeah. It's kind of sweet, it's got a tangy. Wow. Well, I'm out here. Probably got a lime seed stuck in there. There we go. That's live TV, baby. Yeah, we don't use the juice out of the jar. It comes directly from the, from the fruit. Wow. So we have the ceviche here. Move these limes out of the way. Look at that. Unbelievable. And that's fresh. It's hard Serve to get fresh with a bag like of that. chips ready to go. Yeah, put a little by side of chips on the side right here. And there we have it. Shrimp ceviche, blackened fish tacos, a chicken quesadilla, a lot of veggies inside, and a pulled pork carnita burrito at Finn's. That's why That's how we, we like to eat here. Did you hear me? <laughs> Listen, y'all, if you've not been out to see them, you've got to get here. They're on the beach, and you can find them there next to Mr. Surf or right here. What's the new location, Justin? 2808 West 12th Street, right behind Hunt's, inside the little village. Finn's Island Style Grub is a Rick's house favorite, I promise you. Hi, I'm Dave Williams with Mid-South Lumber Install Pros. Do you have windows and doors that don't operate correctly? Is the glass fog? Can you feel cold air coming in? Let the Install Pros at Mid-South Lumber replace those old windows and doors for you. Go from this to this, from this to this, and from this to this. Improve the looks of your home while increasing your home's value and lowering your power bills. Call me personally, Dave Williams at Mid-South Lumber Install Pros. 215-5185. That's 215-5185. Um, hi, I'm, I'm Brad. I'm an Aries. I like romantic candlelit dinners. I love long, slow strolls on a deserted beach. Oh, romantic. Puppies and puppy breath. I love puppy breath. But what really turns me on more than anything else is the latest issue of Pro Tool Reviews magazine. 
Oh, I love it. Every issue has great tool tests, tool reviews, and the latest tool information. Written by the people who know, people who use tools every day. Go to ProToolReviews.com and get your subscription now. Puppy not included. When you sit down with an accountant to plan for your financial future, trust counts. And when you choose a doctor to care for your loved ones, trust counts. And when you choose a roofing contractor to protect you from the storms, trust counts. Tadlock Roofing, when trust counts. Proud to be North Florida's only Owens Corning Platinum Preferred Contractor. To learn more, go to WinTrustCounts.com. WinTrustCounts.com. Hey, y'all, being from the country, I've learned one thing for sure. Your equipment can be the difference in a good year or a bad one. That's why I choose Beard Equipment. Quality products like John Deere and Steel, chainsaws, tractors, lawnmowers, you name it, they've got it. Parts, service, and a team you can count on. Call them today, 850-769-4844. That's 850-769-4844. Remember, Beard Equipment, a team you can count on. 4625 Highway 231, Panama City, or online at Beard Equipment. Hey, y'all, one of the things I was thinking about as I was walking through Lowe's today was the projects that's given me the most grief over the years, things that I just find to just absolutely get under my skin. Even though they need to be done and I want to do them, sometimes they can be so aggravating. And one of the things that come to mind was the little closet rods that come with the little tiny hangers that come with the little bitty wire brads in them. We're talking about this is about a size two finish nail. Now, if you notice, I got big fingers. So trying to hold that up there, take a hammer and drive it into the wall without mashing my finger is very, very difficult. So anytime that you're working with the small wire brads, what I'd recommend is grab you a pair of needle nose pliers, which is easy to do, a good long needle nose set, put the nail right in the needle nose, hold it up there close and tap away. It'll save your fingers and it might even save you from saying some of those bad words, especially if you mash that finger good. So a pair of needle nose pliers is always good when we're working with wire breads in close and tight spaces like on small closet rods. Well, we got it done just in time as the rain settles in here on Finns Island Style Grub in the St. Andrews location. Listen, if you've not been to see them, I want you to visit them. We appreciate you so much for watching our show each and every Saturday morning, 7 to 7.30, and Sunday mornings from 5 to 5.30. You know, the winner of our nail gun this past week was watching the show at Sunday morning at 5 o'clock when he entered and won to do a fast cordless nail gun. So you never know. Both times are good. If you miss us here, you can find us on YouTube during the week at Rick's House TV, or you can find me at rickshouseradioshow.com. I want to thank my buddy Justin for cooking up some great grub for us, man. Yes, Tell sir. them how they find you, because as soon as you get done, Jeff is going to jump like a spider monkey across that <laughs> camera and get into those shrimp tacos. So tell them how they find you, bud. Okay, on the beach, uh, it's uh, 7220 Thomas Drive. Um, you look for, uh, right next to Mr. Surf's, look for a big pole barn with a white, uh, a white trailer. That's us. Where all the cars will be. Go ahead. Right across <laughs> from the beach. And uh, uh, in town, it's 2808 West 12th Street. You go down Beck, you turn right where Hunt's is. We're right behind Hunt's. You can park behind Hunt's, walk across the street. We're right inside the little village. Look for the big bamboo fence. Thanks for joining us on Rick's House. Be sure and visit with us next week as we've got a new episode for you. Oh, well, it's Rick's. He'll help you figure it out Cause it's Rick's house